Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving a cubic polynomial system. A kind of symmetrical one. We have x cubed equals 2x plus 3y and y cubed equals 3x plus 2y. I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. By the way, in one of the videos I started with the second method but then I forgot to write first method for this first method so it kind of ended up having second method twice. Anyways, this time we're going to start with the first method to be on the safe side. So for my first method, I'm going to go ahead and subtract these equations. x cubed minus y cubed. If I subtract 2x minus 3x, I get a negative. So let's subtract these two first. I get y and then minus x, right? Great. So simple, right? Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put everything on the same side x cubed minus y cubed plus x minus y equals 0. And then I'm going to go ahead and factor out x minus y here. So that's difference of two cubes, right? Hopefully you know this formula. And x minus y is just multiplied by 1 so that I can get a common factor out. Here, this is a common factor. So we can take out x minus y. And the second parentheses will be x squared plus xy plus y squared plus 1 equals 0. And obviously this is 0 as well, right? So we kind of got, got it factored. And from here we can set each vector equal to 0 and find the solutions. If we set x minus y equal to 0, from there we get x equals y or y equals x. And then second equ equation, we're, we're going to look at it later. So let's see what y equals x means in this context. We knew from the first equation that x cubed equals 2x plus 3y. And if you replace y with x here, we get x cubed equals 2x plus 3x, which is 5x. So x cubed equals 5x gives us x cubed minus 5x equals 0. And if you factor out x, you get x squared minus 5 equals 0. And from here, we get three solutions. x equals 0. x, I'm going to find the x values first. x equals square root of 5. And x equals negative square root of 5. Since x and y are equal in this case, then we get y equals 0, y equals root 5, and y equals negative root 5. Make sense? So we get three ordered pairs as our solution. Cool. So that would be our first method. But let's go ahead and take a look at the other factor. So we do have another factor here, which is this one. Let's go ahead and set it equal to 0. x squared plus xy plus y squared plus 1 equals 0. If you dealt with quadratics or general polynomials, you should be familiar with this. This part uh, you can complete the square and write it as x squared plus xy plus y squared over 4 plus 3y squared over 4 plus 1. Now notice that this becomes a perfect square. That's why we separated the 3y squared over 4. This is actually x plus y over 2 squared. And as you know, this can't be negative. This can't be negative and you're adding 1. So the total thing has to be greater than 0, which means it cannot equal 0. So the second solution does not give us anything real, but if you wanted to go with the complex solutions, you could definitely get something out of that. I'm going to show you how complex solutions come up um, in the second method. So let's go ahead and look at the second method now. So for our first method, basically what we did was subtracting these two equations and getting something factorable and then looking at each factor the first factor, the trivial one, gave us three pairs, all right? And when I show you the graph, this will also make more sense. And the graphs are actually pretty interesting for these functions, all right? So here's the second method. We're going to, and let me rewrite the original problem. So this is my system. And instead of subtracting, why not add them? 
right? Let's go ahead and add these equations. So we get x cubed plus y cubed equals 2x plus 3x is 5x, and 3y plus 2y is 5y. So now we can go ahead and do something similar and factor this, but before we factor it, maybe put this on the left hand side and then start factoring. So now x cubed plus y cubed, it's at sum of two cubes, so we can factor it as x plus y multiply by x squared minus xy plus y squared minus five times x plus y and the whole thing is equal to zero. Make sense? Great, now we have x plus y as a common factor, so we can factor that out. And notice that this is going to look a little different from the other one. And we're gonna get x squared minus xy plus y squared minus 5 equals 0. Now in the second method, both of the factors are fine. And the first, anyways, you'll see what I'm talking about. Let me go ahead and not spoil the surprise. So here's what we're going to do. Set each factor equal to 0 the same way. But notice that with the first method, we got y equals x. This gives us y equals negative x. So isn't that surprising? Like, how can I get the same solutions by getting something the opposite of the first method, right? Well, let's see what happens. The first equation, the original one, was x cubed equals 2x plus 3y. If you replace y with negative x, you get x cubed equals 2x minus 3x, which is negative x. And if you add x to both sides, you get x cubed plus x equals 0. If you take out an x, you get x squared plus 1 equals 0. There you go. This is not going to give you real solutions except for x equals 0. Make sense? So from here you get x equals 0 as well as x equals i or negative i. And since x and y are opposites, if x is i, y is going to be negative i. And if x is negative i, y is going to be positive i. Make sense? So these are the ones that we didn't get from the first method because we got, um, we just did it differently. Okay. So x equals 0 appears again. What about the other ones? Remember with the first method, we were finding root 5 plus minus root 5. Where are they, right? You might be wondering. They're going to come from the second factor. But notice that this is uh, something that's not always positive. So it can be 0, right? So the second factor, if you set this equal to 0, you get obviously a system from here. Such an interesting, beautiful system. But let's go ahead and solve for y from the second equation. And you're going to get this. And then if you go ahead and plug this in here and here, you're going to get something like this. x squared minus x times x cubed minus 2x over 3 plus x cubed minus 2x over 3 squared equals 5 and from here you're going to get x equals plus minus root 5 and some complex solutions. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graph and we'll f finish up. Here's the graph. So those curves are really nicely complementing each other. Notice that the purple one is kind of like curvy. It's cubic and the blue one is also curvy but it's curvy in a different sense because y and, uh, y and x are switched around. They switch roles so that it's kind of a rotated version of the original one. And these are all the solutions. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.